There's a new policy in Baltimore that many say could make that city even more dangerous. This comes after the Department of Justice and Attorney General Jeff Sessions reported that violent crimes, look at that, increased by 22% in the last year alone. Many say this new policy will discourage arrests and even give criminals a say-so over how police officers are doing their jobs. Here to weigh in on this is former D.C. homicide detective and Fox News contributor, Mr. Rod Wheeler. Good morning, Rod. Good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you too, Ainsley. Well, why are they doing this? Because according to Jeff Sessions, it's going to make a dangerous city even more dangerous. It's absolutely ridiculous that, uh, you know, the city of Baltimore wants to take the handcuffs off of the murderers, take the handcuffs off of the burglars, and put those handcuffs on the police department. Now, it's absolutely ridiculous. So what Attorney General Jeff Sessions is saying, Ainsley, is let's take a look at some of these consent degrees that was rushed through the Obama administration to put the clamps down on police officers, and let's review those decrees to make sure that that's the right move that we're making. Obviously, giving criminals any voice whatsoever is the wrong thing to do. And Jeff, Se Jeff Sessions is saying that's not what we should be doing. We do need to have police reform, but it needs to be common sense police reform. Okay, so the folks at home might be wondering what are, what are some of the changes that are going to be made. This, is, this says police can't approach trespassers unless a complaint is made. Police can't detain people in high crime areas or proximity to a crime scene. Police should get verbal and written consent to search. Police must seek yeah. permission from a supervisor before arresting certain suspects. So basically, police officers have their hands tied. They can't go after a criminal when they see a crime. Right, and they can't do proactive policing, which, by the way, proactive policing is what keeps our cities and our communities safe. So what this decree says is that these various decrees, there's 14 of them across the country, what it's saying is that police officers cannot basically go out and do their jobs. But what it also says is that police officers need to be restricted, Ainsley. Think about this. Restrict police officers from enforcing crime, from going after some of these criminals, and hold police officers back. So what is that going to result? In. It's going to result in higher crime rates that we clearly see happening. And you know what? In cities that really need police enforcement, those are the cities, such as Baltimore, that's really going to suffer You're as right. a result of this. And so Jeff Sessions is saying, Ainsley, he's saying, look, this is not the approach we should take. We need to use common sense reform. He does want reform. And I think that's why can't uh, that he make that happen then? Why on. can't he change it, Rod? Because this was signed <clears throat> on January 12th. Now Jeff, Jeff right. Sessions is the AG. So why can't he say we're not going to do this anymore? Well, because he's getting pushback. I mean, this is the reality. He's getting pushback from a lot of these Democratic mayors. Now, keep in mind, and this is so important for the viewers to understand, crime got out of hand under the leadership of these Democratic mayors. And Jeff Sessions is saying, look, we just got here. The Trump administration is very concerned about police reform, and we want to make things right. But with these consent decrees, it's going in the wrong direction. That's what he's saying. So he's asking the judges to hold up, give the, the government 90 days, give the AG's office 90 days to review, to review these uh, consent decrees just to make sure that we are going in the right direction. We just want to keep our officers safe and we want to keep criminals off the streets. That's it. I think exactly. all Americans can agree with that. I don't know why this is happening. Thanks so much, Rod. God bless all sure. of our Thank law you, enforcement, Angela. our men and women in blue.